We're moving on to the Komatsu Autonomous System. What they've done is hooked these autonomous systems up to the rock trucks, and it is a game changer for the mining industry. I don't know. That's a tough sell. The autonomous haulage system is pretty much just an automatic system. You literally run from a computer off-site, and the haulage system just means the rock truck. So they're just, someone's autonomously running their rock trucks now. The main perks of this are not only is that operator not going to get hurt. I mean, he might get carpal tunnel, but you can get that doing what we do. Right? <laughs> but yeah, one of the main perks is that your operator is off-site or your operator is at least in a safe place. So if something does go down, something does go bad, especially in these large mining sites where you have these massive equipment, that operator is going to be fine. The machine? Hey, not so much, but a machine replaceable, operator, not. I'm sure most mines are willing to train up their guys if they want to continue working. And this is a good way to keep working, especially as an older operator, you're now not 65 years old, trying to climb up into this rock truck every day, riding around a bumpy mine site, right? You're sitting on a comfy office chair, the water cooler's there, the air conditioning's on. It'll work nice in the long run, but you'll still need certain techs on site to grease the machine, do all that kind of stuff, the daily maintenance. Maybe that's a perk for the operator, not having to grease his own machine, right? If he's not on site, headphones going in, video going on. Let's learn more about this system. I don't like that they call this a 980. I mean, a 980 is a cat wheel loader, not a Komatsu rock truck. <laughs> so they're running these already in Australia mines. Yeah, like you still need someone to kind of monitor them on the system, like you can't, they, they don't just free wheel. Right, you do have someone at a computer still watching where they're going. So what they do is they set a route. This truck runs this route, and in these big mines, you're gonna run that route for weeks, months. It's interesting. I'd be really curious to see the actual uh, maintenance differences. Well, some operators are a little harder on equipment than others. You know who you are. You, you know who you are. These are gonna be operated as smoothly as possible like there's normal wear and tear on anything, like on, on your vehicle you're driving out there, right? There's normal wear and tear. There is, at some points, excessive wear and tear, right? Like if you're operating a piece of equipment, you're only supposed to walk at certain speeds. You're only supposed to do this at certain speeds. What this does is makes it so that's it. Like this, this machine, probably not getting out of third gear. It's got a fourth and fifth gear, probably not getting out of third gear. And what that's going to do is just lower maintenance costs. You still need humans to be able to run everything. They show all the humans doing all the main stuff back in the office. So when we go to Bama at the end of October, I'm really looking forward to asking a few questions about this system. Mainly, how many people does it take to run this? You obviously have to have someone on site operating the greaser and the maintenance and doing all of those kind of things. But how many people behind the scenes? And how easy is the system to learn? Like if we need to change our route midday, can we change our route midday or do we need to call Komatsu Technical? How many hoops are we jumping through? What kind of timelines are we looking at for response time? Right? This is uh, important stuff if you're running a mine to make money and we're all here to make money. That's what I would have for Balma. But again, these are safe jobs now. No one's dying in a mine running a rock truck. Out in the Fraser Valley, you had a dozer go over an edge and unfortunately the person lost their life, right? Like it's uh, it's a real concern. And like I said, at the end of the day, machines, replaceable, right? People, not replaceable. Most important thing for any job, for me to any job, is that someone goes home at night safe. These people are going to work. They're not going to put their lives on the line. This isn't ice road truckers, right? We're not in knife fights with monkeys, right? Like we live a pretty straight forward life, right? Like, I mean, it's heavy equipment. You want that person to go home. To stay up to date with industry news, please subscribe to Tecmo News. And if you have any questions, email me at joshd at tecmohd.com.